Hey guys, Brandon here. Uh, in this video, I want to show you about an adapter that I just got that I can use at campgrounds in the US. So right here is the uh, outlets that are available. On the right is like a conventional household one, uh, 120 volts, and then on the left here is something called a TT30P, um, which can be used for like RVs and stuff, I think. Um, now that's different from what uh, the uh, Tesla mobile tr um, charging connector comes with, which was a, a 1450. Uh, these you find, uh, you can find at marinas and stuff. It's, um, it's a higher power charge. Uh, but this one, you can charge your Tesla from if you get an adapter. Now this one I got from an online place called EVSE. Um, not exactly sure what that stands for, but Anyway, they have a pretty cool website with a couple different versions of this. I got this one, which has a, a two foot long cord because this was the one that they actually had in stock. And it turns out to be handy to have a little bit of length on it. Now the key is, there's a lot of adapters for this, um, for this type, but you have to have one uh, that is specific for EVs because the way EVs charge and the way an RV is powered is slightly different. So your adapter has to be able to adapt to that. So basically, uh, you can see these two uh, are complementary. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. And then um, you need to have this side attached to your Tesla mobile connector. And I'm gonna plug this in, but I'm not gonna do it on video. I gotta pause here because it's kind of uh, hard to do with one hand, or impossible actually. All right, I got that all connected. Uh, you can see that there's power there. I've got my cord all already set up to uh, charge the Tesla. And uh, let me just get my outlet open. There we go. Plug it right in there. Turns green, everything is good. One thing you want to keep in mind is that it's actually a 40 amp circuit. So it's a 30 amp circuit. Um, and a 30 amp plug, but then the Tesla connector is connected to it via the uh, 1450 adapter, which actually charges at 40 amps. So um, the car, initially when it plugged in, I, get, I think it saw that adapter and it just assumed that it was a 40 amp circuit, which was actually too high, and you can change that inside the car. Uh, so you want to make sure you check that. Anyway, the first time I, ha I was using this cord, I didn't know that. And then after about 15 minutes, it probably got too hot or something like that and the, the fuse um, tripped. So I had to go trip the fuse on the box. But anyway, otherwise it works well. Um, I charged last night. I mean, I got here with like 70%, so I didn't need to charge much. But it's charging at four kilowatts. Um, at 30 amps, 118 volts, and it should take about 3 hours and 15 minutes, which is not fast by any stretch, but it's very convenient if you're at a uh, campsite, um, at least in the U.S., uh, because if you're camping, you're going to be here overnight, so um, yeah, you can juice up.